This is Randy Altman's Perspective. Randy Altman has been writing about our industry for more than 20 years. In fact, she's the editor-in-chief of her own website at postperspective.com. And here, the day before the new year starts, it's a perfect opportunity to say, welcome back, Randy. It's good to see you. Thanks for having me back. How was your Christmas, Larry? It was a wonderful Christmas. I got to sleep late. How can you complain about that? <laughs> Clearly, there are no young children in our house. How about yourself? It was great. Very good. Excellent. Last week, we spent time talking about the trends that we saw in 2015. You mentioned virtual reality as one that you've been fascinated with for a long time. But now I want to turn our attention forward to 2016. What are you keeping an eye on now? Well, absolutely more virtual reality trends, um, expecting more camera rigs, more ways to view it. But what interests me most is how they're going to present VR content. So I want to know, is it going to be um, dramatically presented, or is it going to focus more on scientific and maybe therapeutic uh, uses? So as long as they stay away from the gags that might get people a little cynical about it being the next stereo, I think that it's going to uh, continue its march along and be successful. Well, if you think about it, the whole idea of interactive uh, fiction, interactive narrative has been with us for years, and we've been struggling to find ways to actually make it take off. Games have probably been the most successful example of this, but uh, an interactive feature film has been something that's never quite made it. Perhaps VR gives us that opportunity to finally have interactive narrative fiction. It would be, um, look, I'm looking forward to, to seeing if that can be the case, yes. What other things? Let's see, we've got VR. What else is on your list for the, the coming year that we should pay attention to? Well, I think drones, um, in particular the GoPro Karma drone, which is coming out in 2016. So I'll be eager to see that and also how the government is regulating who's got drones and where they use it and that they don't take down any airplanes. So it's very important uh, from a safety issue, but also in terms of once we get into the production and using drones, um, how it's used in the workflow. That's true. With uh, December 21st, uh, the FAA rolled out drone registration where you need to identify the drone and the operator of the drone so they can track it down in case there's a problem. I'm really curious to see if that starts to minimize some of the safety violations that we've seen with drones. So we've got VR, we've got drones. Anything else? I expect to see more editors embracing color. And I think that's going to be easier for them based on tools like Resolve and Adobe Premiere, which um, allow for, for coloring within those systems. So I don't think that the high-end colorist is going anywhere. There's always a need for them. But I think that some of the editors out there will definitely be taking advantage of some of these tools and doing some color work. Well, if you think about it, even with YouTube videos, YouTube videos are all over the map in terms of color. And anything that we can do to make even simple movies look better, I think, is a good thing. And the more people know about color, the more opportunities there are for the high end to take advantage of basic skills and then bring it up to the next level. I think color is absolutely migrating to the mainstream. Any other, any other trends that are, I mean, do you realize CES is coming up next week? I can't wait to go to Las Vegas and see what the latest toys are. Uh, anything uh, that you're looking to see at CES besides the latest virtual reality glasses? <laughs> um, I think I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the next generation of phones that are out there because when you've got people shooting 4K on their handhelds, I'm, I'm curious what's next. <laughs> and curious of what's next is what 2016 is all about. Randy, thanks for joining us today. Have yourself a wonderful new year and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Take care, Larry. Randy Altman is the editor-in-chief of PostPerspective.com. You can visit her website for some amazing interviews with leaders in the industry. And we'll be back with Randy's perspective on the news next week. To read more from Randy Altman, visit PostPerspective.com.